Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I've been away for a little bit. I am very physical in the world. I'm not always just sitting in front of my computer all day. I do like to be present and be out in nature and inter interact with friends and whoever else is out in the world. Uh, yeah, so I've been uh, doing some interesting classes, like attending classes and helping people and all kinds of stuff. So it's good to be physically present in the world. So I apologize for being away for a little bit of time, but I wanted to go ahead and start talking about some of these things because the further we go into the truth, uh, you know, the deeper we present the information when we dig, um, we find real connections of what's happening in the world. And I'm gonna share this channel with you. This is a guy who's in India, Praveen Mohan. And I'll put the link in the description box, of course. But this guy has got a great channel for questioning the narrative, pretty much. And he, since he lives in India, he can go and look at all these fancy temples, you know, with all these carvings and stuff. But he's talking about this particular temple and why some of the adornments and statues and things have been removed. So I just wanted to go ahead and start putting it out there because some of these statues that are, that you can see that are remnants of this temple start to point to demonic acts of sacrifices and things. Um, and I, you guys can go and check out the video, but <clears throat> I, um, I have been able to put two and two together with all of the events that are happening around the world, because being double Aquarius, you know, that's part of my purpose here is to reveal the truth. I am the sort of truth and I can rise above all of the activities above the planet, look at everything with introspection and then see where the connecting points are. So what it is, is the dark magi, that's what I'm gonna call them. Um, sometimes I call them the dark ones or you know, other people on the surface, they call them the cabal. Cabal is just a short term for Kabbalah. And people don't know that, you know, you got to start really doing introspection on a lot of these things, these terms, the symbols, the signs, everything. And when your mind has been awakened, and I am not a professional by any means, I don't tout myself as being, you know, the purveyor of all knowledge. I am just simply presenting all this stuff for people to see the connecting dots, just like I do. And so when I saw this temple in this video, it connected the dots with they're trying to cover up the traces of the past of only, you know, a couple thousand years ago where they've been actually working with human sacrifice and all these other sacrifices of animals, people, nature, everything. They're destroying our world bit by bit on purpose because when they do these sacrifices, they actually are summoning the demons from below us when they talk about hell h-e-l and they talk about niflheim niflheim niflheimer you know the nephilim all of these things tie into the norse cosmology of our world and the norse cosmology is in alignment with celtic traditions and so i feel like there's a huge connection that's coming and the truth singularity that's coming is going to be amazing because all of these dots are going to then connect but all of these dark magicians because that's what they are they have been using us by erasing history and rewriting it constantly continually doing this as a practice they get us to erase our own history so that we don't know who we are or where we're going but during the age of Aquarius, we're going to know a lot more stuff. And so this human sacrifice is allowing them an energetic connection to the underworld. And they have to do this through the means of the celestial alignments. This is how it all works. Our lives are dictated by the celestial alignments of the heavens. 
with the stars firmly fixed in the firmament. This is what the ancients taught. They already knew the truth about our world. Why are we listening to anything else? The deception is real. NASA is fake. We know this. They use CGI images to portray our world and everything, you know, therein. And they're making up artistic renderings on a computer of what the cosmos looks like because they do not want us doing the introspection of our own selves and our own world. Because once we do, once we go within and dig deeper just in our physical reality, we're gonna know the truth. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to distract us by saying, there's new life out there somewhere. There's new life. This is a new narrative guys for the future because they're trying to hijack the reality that the things we need are right here under our feet. The things we need to know, you know, about our world and who we are, are right under our nose. But these people, they're, whether they're people, that's another, you know, discussion for another day, because I believe that's just a different faction of beings and they are just Decepticons. And they're trying to mislead us and misguide us constantly, and especially during the age of Aquarius when they know that the jig is up. They are about to be revealed. We're about to know all about the Wizard of Oz and how he's been hiding behind this curtain and manipulating us. This is the key to know. So they've been creating all these wars, they're fake wars, and pulling the strings because when you join the military, you sign a contract. This is using your free will because you have chosen this path. This is all this experience is about, is about choosing a path. Every time you make a choice and a decision, you choose your path. And you can either choose it very wisely by doing very deep research, or you can just do things blindly and, you know, go have a good time. <laughs> but it is going to have an effect on where you go once you die. And it is not about heaven and hell and all that. I mean, it kind of is, but it's a recycle program. We have to recycle, guys. We're in a school for the soul. It's going to continue to happen. Yes, it is a recycle program, whether it's the moon or the sun or whatever. Who knows? They are a, a faction of this entire game, though. This puzzle is a huge game, and we can kind of get hints when we listen to the verbiage that's used. So, you know, you hear about the sun being the sun god, the, the male, and the moon being female. Well, you know, maybe the moon is part of the recycle program and it spits us back out in order for us to come back and keep learning. I don't know. I don't, you know, I can't figure it out, but these are questions, you know. It's awesome to have questions. It's awesome to be curious. So this guy here, you know, he's just questioning these temples and some of the things that he finds in India and it's amazing like his channel has a lot of information and it's very good to sort of open your eyes to this whole concept that these dark magicians have been using sacrifices when they spill the blood they say the rites they speak rites the rites are verbiage they are sound frequencies and I'm just trying to help people see this, that everything we speak has a frequency and we need to get a handle on what we're actually doing when we're speaking these words that are swords. And we don't know how they act as swords, but if you rearrange the word sword, it becomes words and they can attack people. And now that we've sort of, you know, gotten new meanings for some of the same terms and things we're confused we are lost and until we can get back into our telepathic communication which is what we originally had of, of being here you know before Atlantis fell we were able to, to telepathically communicate because words sound frequencies start to create things and as the world comes back into its knowing you're going to see amazing things just happen around you just from you speaking your words. The manifestation is going to get faster. So you have to be aware of these things because we are able to work with the ether, with our voice and our mind. Our thoughts are things. 
And if you haven't figured this out, start to notice it. Start to notice where your thoughts go and what actions happen afterwards. I've started noticing this. I've been noting, knowing this stuff for a little while now because I started noticing that bad things would come in threes if I was in a bad mood. So, you know, putting out that kind of vibration, it attracts because that's what we are. We are magnetic and electric as well as earth, fire, air, water, and ether. We manipulate our surroundings with our minds. That's what they call magic. And once you learn this stuff, it's no longer a mystery and it's no longer scary. It's a part of us. It's an aspect of ourselves. It has nothing to do with the Bible, nothing to do with the devil. It is us. And the Bible was a book to manipulate the minds of the masses. Yes, you heard me say that because I've done enough research. And until people actually go and start looking at everything with a clear conscience, without judgment, and see the manipulation, you're not going to believe anything that you're told. So I am encouraging people to go out and do your homework. It is important, very important to keep an open mind. Change is a constant and it will hurt those who are not open to it. You are going to be hurt because if you sell out to one belief system, you're going to be very uncomfortable when the future comes and that becomes old knowledge. And that is like a, a falsehood. If anything, you know, comes about that, you know, we've been actually lied to on every single level because they've had 2,150 years to sell us lies. And most people forget how the church came about. How was it established? They killed people. They killed the people who had knowledge and they forced them to read the Bible. Go look at your history, please. We know this. We know about the Inquisition. We know about all these things, you know, where they were killing people because they're, they're witches or warlocks or devil worshipers or whatever. They labeled people, innocent people died for this book and this belief. So if you can't take that, then you know, I'm sorry for you because we're going into the future and it's going to reveal this truth that the Vatican is behind all of this chaos in the world. They are one of the establishments and the, the royal crown was actually a part and our military in the USA is actually their strong arm to go around and destroy nations and to put in their changelings. You know, they come in and they subvert the governments and then they take over this is what they've been doing but they know that they're out of time and they're getting very desperate very very desperate so go check out this video um this guy is amazing he's questioning the narrative and um you know i just i want to reveal more things just like these people are and I am doing some research currently on my own state and how we have a little Grand Canyon. It is a gouge in the earth and there are actually stones that have evidence of vitrification and I brought some home with me. So I'm going to be doing another video, but I want to take some more footage down at the actual site. So look forward to that in the future, probably in another month or so, because I've got some other things coming up that I must do first. But enjoy this guy's video. This is uh, just amazing that he points out a lot of details. And I think they're really trying to cover up this sacrificial site. Um, and that's why, you know, all of the past, they're trying to teach us that these ancient people were, oh, they're just ignorant and they're just sacrificing people, you know, just for their gods for food and all. No, 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 no. They knew what they were doing. They knew. They had the knowledge and they came from Atlantis. So just check this out and read the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. It's going to give you a little bit more insight on that. And I'm sorry, I haven't put out the next chapter on that. I've been, I've been busy. Like I said, I'm behind on things, but coming up, I'm going to have some interviews with a few different people and I'll be adding those to my channel at the end of this month. So look forward to those and I will see you guys on the next one.